Hello everybody and welcome once again to all the mods for this episode we're going to see if we can do uh, the assembly controller so let's get started with that shall we so I've been making some unassembled PCBs I've also been making I should get oh, those are, those are printed circuit boards, aren't they? I've also been making some transistors and capacitors <laughs> capacitors can't speak capacitors now in here I've made, I've made a new crafting table that's your crafting station from silent gear and that's a relatively new i think that's a new mod as well so this one looks interesting so i'll i'll show, so let's put it into here like this because uh, these are all components aren't they so <clears throat> and the transistors and then we should be able to do once it gives any recipes on here let's have a look let's have a look if we can do the recipe of this one and how that works oh it gave me one of those let's just try that again do the um, recipe of this one and press shift click I right, so we can make 10 of these good so we got 11 we've got 13 all together so we need to make some more transistors so with these we've got uses for these things so let's have a look at the uses of these printed circuit boards right they have the pneumatic armor which is a great armor we we'll probably build that we can also build drones we can build programming piece puzzle pieces and then we can be build these the assembly io units so that needs a hopper three of these pneumatic cylinders and some iron and some oh, compressed iron let's have a look what else have we got on here we need another three for this piece of glass so that's that one pneumatic dynamo that's the one that converts pressure into power chest piece programmable controller assembly controller which we can actually make now as it happens I think we've got the bits to actually make the assembly controller because I happen to have a tube, one tube with me so let's go back again and have a look at the use of these again that used three of those already let's start at the other end so we've got an assembly drill we need to make so for that we need these so we need at least th nine of those so far and i'm not sure what we do with the laser so we need 12. the recipe of these gives us two so we need six sets of these i need a cannon barrel so we need some reinforced brick walls and that pressure right i've got some of those materials inside and it says look okay we've <laughs> unlocked new chapters in two books i'm not quite sure why we unlocked anything with, to do with new Matograph um, to do with Britannia, but we did. Actually, this book isn't actually as, as fully finished as it, I was hoping it to be because one of the things I was looking at was the pressure tubes here. I think there's pressure tubes here. We've got the safety module here. So this is all unlocked, and you'll see there's no page about it. So quite a few, few of these do have pages. So the regulator one we've got pages for. And the, but there were quite a few that didn't have it but well for the time being we'll carry on as if we have all the information because I know, I know most of it but some of it's changed so now oh yes we don't need these upgrade bases anymore those were used for the silence gear um bits and pieces but i do need hello let's just go and sort this guy out quickly <laughs> A bit more leather and gold nuggets gold's in short supply so i'm gonna <laughs> you'll see the gold's in short supply oh that does remind me before i forget <clears throat> i put into here 18 gold yes i'm getting tri or tripling out of this so i'm getting or tripling out of this by using four chance upgrades so the chance upgrades um increases it by 10 in fact it almost is guaranteed to give you three let's have a look we'll prove it because in here i've got a stack of gold ore let's just take out three of these now let's four would be sensible wouldn't it? let's just do four it's not i say it's guaranteed it's not 100 percent guaranteed but it's just about guaranteed we'll come back to that in a second when we've made these um, pressure things so we needed plastic and i've got plastic in one of these two i think i've got plastic sheets in here 54 yes we have we've got a stack of compressed iron and we also need some glass 
in order to make pressure tubes and we're going to need some more reinforced stone reinforced stone and we need reinforced stone bricks and reinforced stone good so we need to make these walls so we need six walls and i think we get three per also just double check it so let's do this first of all we need uh, two sets of that i think so we need we need oh no we get four don't we that'll give us nine and i think this will give us four walls yeah oh there's the steps i don't want steps i want walls Ah, so we get six walls, great. So we get one more per, per block. And now what we can do with these <clears throat> is to make the next component. One thing that I've noticed that th these are actually in very... So you've got an assembly drill and an assembly laser. So we need to make these up. And for this we need to make these up. And then for that we get one. So we need quite a few of these walls, if it happens. And quite a few um, pipes. So we need more walls and pipes. So let's just make up some more pipes. I'll do th three, I think. I'll need two pieces of glass to get that, that out of here as well. Ah, oh, yes, of course. <laughs> so we need some more stone. Let's get some more stone out of here. We'll get a stack of stone out of that, and we'll use. We'll put those around some iron like this. And we've got a stack of stone. This will give us reinforced stone. So we'll get a, a stack of reinforced stone. And then we can make, from that, we can make some bricks. Let's just do this like this. That will give us five, won't it? So. No, it only gives us three. So we've got three, four would make another one. How many have we got left? Five. Oh, that'll be around. We'll, we'll use this. We'll do this. That'll make two. I think I need quite a few more of these, to be honest with you. Let's do it like this and make, stop messing around. That will give us 10. I think we need 12. So that, I've got 20. Oh, that's right. Yes, we've got brick walls. Oh, yes, I've made too many. Look, never mind. We're going to need quite a few of these pneumatic cylinders. Anyway, we need these. So we can make 14. So we want to make 12. So we've got those bits. I hope we only need 12, maybe we need more, so now we need these, like this, so we should, oh that makes two, so I only need six of these, so six of these, so we got our 12 pneumatic cylinders, so we should now be able to make everything that we need to start doing these, I hope that's the case, so we need to make a laser. What are we missing there? Just a piece of glass. It does, I think it says red, but normally you can interchange them. So let's just see if that works in this case. No, it does in fact want red stained glass. Okay, so we need to need some red, red dye for that one, and we need normal red dye. We've got one of those, good. And I've got no space, bad. Let's have to do some space manipulation here. Actually, I don't need the upgrades in here. For some reason, I've got eleven upgrade matrices, which I don't understand. Because you make you you make them in fours and you use them in fours. So what happened to the other one? <laughs> I have no idea. So where were we? In here. So we need another eight pieces, seven pieces of glass. So we can make up some red glass. Right, so now we should be able to make this assembly laser. And the next one along the line, we can put the red glass away. I don't think we need this anymore. I shouldn't say think, but there we are. I do a lot, 
and this one here we need a di diamond oh, we've got plenty of diamonds why is he not seeing the diamond ah uh, because it's not in my inventory so that's the drill and then we've got so we've got the controller the drill and now we need two input and output units There's a blue one, and I think the blue one recipe is the same because basically you can just change the colour of these. So we need two hoppers. I think I've, I've got a lot of hoppers somewhere. One of these, one of these places, but maybe not there. Maybe in one of my bags, as it happens. Not that one. Let's try the dank. No, not that one. Not that one. Not that one. I know I've got lots of hoppers around somewhere. Let's see if we can make it up here. No, I have no hoppers. Right, let's quickly make some hoppers up. So we need two two hoppers, so we need ten pieces of iron. And I have absolutely no space whatsoever. So I'm gonna quickly make some space. Let's just move some stuff out of here. Let's put the tools that we've been we've created to start with. We need five. You'll see there's five and required for this anyway. So I needed ten pieces of iron. I need two chests. And then we can make up the hoppers. I picked up eleven pieces of iron for some reason or other. But you can sort that easy. I've got quite a lot of iron already prepared. Going through iron very fast. So now we should be able to make this one up here like this. Can we make two? What were we short of? I'm not sure. Recipe. Oh, we've, oh right. So we need some more of these pneumatic cylinders. Um, okay, let's make those up. Oh. In fact, in that case, I don't. I just need to put a hopper up here, don't I? So I did get it right. Good. So we have actually got the bits. And one of these needs to be made to be an export one. So I just put it in there and craft it to an export one. So let's go and build this. Very simple to build, and I'm going the long way around again. Having a quick look, because I was getting attacked by phantoms quite often. Ouch. Oh, Now I have made a little space here. In fact, this one here is not working. It's, it doesn't matter what pressure I give put against this one, it doesn't change the, thres the threshold. It still stays at 4.9 bar. So that what that means is we can then remove this. We don't need it. Actually, that's a computer, isn't it? So here we've got another one. And what I can use this one for is to um to control the power however i can't do it like this let's just remove this one the reason i can't do it like this i need this space out of here so let's just remove this and you see i've got no inventory again uh, but i've got space here look. let's just put that up there bring these down here they all look the same don't they i can hardly tell the difference but I think they look all identical. So we can bring some pressure out of here. There's no pressure in these pipes. Oh yeah, there's one bar. So what we'll do is we'll just take some piping out and put that onto the controller. So the first thing we're going to do is to put down the controller. Like this. And we'll put the controller so it's down here. I thought we can move it a bit further away, can't we? So what we got here is this tower, and I moved the tower so it allowed space to come through from here. So now we can take some pipe, and we can then go from this end backwards. So then you don't lose pressure, if there was pressure in here. So I might as well put this on as it happens, make sure we get some more pressure ability up in here. So now we can put down the the bits and pieces that we need. So first of all, we need um, a, a chest or something 
to uh, import stuff and I haven't got any chests with me I have we got any chests in here well actually I haven't but I could use a shulker box it doesn't matter what inventory it, it is so we could put the shulker box here at the end missed I didn't want to put it here I wanted to put it back one like that and then we can put beside this a um need to get it out so we need the import one first of all the blue one so we can put that one here like this so that's now we'll we'll connect to this and it will bring stuff out and it will put it into um oh i think we need another component let's have a look at the uses of this again yes we need an assembly platform and i didn't make one of those so we need two more of these and some more bits and pieces i'll come back in a second with this i'll see you in a second right i've got the i've got this assembly platform that needs to go down around about here so that it can be the items can be put in and on either side of this we can put the the laser and the drill but we do need some more um bits for that but we should go those and get the second so we need an assembly unit and a drill it doesn't really matter which side we put these on put on that side and we can put the other one on this side and then when it's finished we need to take the items out of here so they're going to be done on the platform so let's just get out the output the exporting one and so let's try again <laughs> Try again. Like that. And that should be ready. Now what's it say here? I should be able to right click this. So it's got some problems. Not enough pressure, at least 3.5 bar. Okay. Then we also need a program. So we need to sort of install a program into here. Now the program is one of these three. So we can do this one, so laser and drill. So for the, that we need a laser, programmable laser, but we can also get this from an Am the Amadron tablet with 14 emeralds, which is actually cheaper. So I don't bother with doing one of these because that's eight. And the other one of these is also eight. So they're both eight, so that adds up to 16. So it's cheaper to go for the 18 emeralds, first of all. Now I should have emeralds in the white backpack. We have here, yeah, good. I always keep 14 here just in case there's a really good trait one of those guys 14 emeralds try again so here's the amadron tablets so let's go and put these into the chest here open up the amadron tablets so here you can see this so we can have one of these right click it and place order wait a few seconds the drone should appear from the last time he came from here didn't he there he comes, look. He's taking the emeralds away. And in a few seconds he'll bring the he'll bring the laser. Here it comes. Well the the program. So we can then put this into here like this. So now it's ready, no problems. So what we can then do with this is we can make advanced tubing. So to make advanced tubing, let's have a look at the recipes of this thing. We probably can see the recipes not on the drum, but I'm not going to right click this one. Do we have recipes somewhere? Sh oh, show recipes, yes. All right, so redstone can make red dye. Okay, fine. So this one, block of compressed iron, can make 20 pressure valves which is really good because that basically means two blocks of that and you've got the whole lot. We can make empty PCBs to unassembled PCBs so we can cut out the etching and the UV light process which is also good. In fact I might as well do that because in here I put in some of, some of these empty PCBs they're coming fed, getting fed into here and then they're being exposed. Now this is using a pressure of course well, this is also using up pressure but doesn't use any up anywhere near as much i also need to put down a chest for the output and i forgot to do that what should we use for the out out output chest i'll tell you what we'll just put that. i should use a 
right, hopper. Any inventory will do, like that. So in here we'll put those 47 empty PCBs, and you'll see now it's going to work. This is very slow at the moment, as you can see. It's going to go, it goes through the inventory, picks up whatever it is, so it should pick up one of these, very slowly comes back and places it on here, and then these very slowly work. So let's go and get these. These do definitely need speed upgrades. There is no doubt about it. I think I've got six speed upgrades with me. I have. So let's put those into here. Like that. And as soon as you do that, the whole thing starts to run faster. As you see. Now one of the other recipes in here was to make advanced tubing. So I'll go have a look at the other recipes. So we can make advanced pressure tubes from 20 compressed air valves. So one compressed block of um, iron will give us 20 valves. 20 valves will give us 8 pressure tubes. And there's a third page where we can make and for amphism tiles, I'm not sure it's a smart sign basically, or we can do it straight from the pressure block like this. So, this is the way to go. So, that was identical cost, just different tools. And you'll see in here we're getting these at a much faster rate than they're coming through from there because we don't need the UV light box and we don't need the etching tank. So, let's go and get. I need to make some compressed iron. And I want a few of these as it happens, so we'll take, I'll make three sets, we want 27. Now advanced pressure tubing is a lot better than standard pressure tubing, even though the cost is a lot more. And there's several, several reasons for it, it can hold more, obviously they don't explode under almost any condition. Um, Let's put these into here, take out these. There <laughs> you see, it actually did the two steps in one, in one go, and that's only because we've got the tools like this. So we're getting plenty of unassembled pieces. I'm going to put the other ones back into here behind it so that they get picked up second. Now we've got all of these things, we can improve these furnaces. There's several things we can do with this. So what, what's that a three? Three sets, 16, no there's one more set to go. Let's take those out of there and let's go and have a look at what we can do with these other than put them down. Tearing it up, yes exactly. So if I have a look at the uses of this, we can make advanced liquid press compressors, which are much probably much better, does it say? Faster generation, but also produces heat. The higher the heat, the lower the efficiency. And this one here, the liquid compressor, which we probably should have already made, is low is a low temperature one. So we need an air compressor which ooh, we can't quite make because we haven't got enough reinforced stone. But I think we, have, ooh, we haven't got enough reinforced stone. OK, I need to make more of these. I'll tell you what, I'll prepare this and come back in a second. So we have everything we need for a liquid compressor. Let's get rid of these. Put those away better than coal, so it's better than coal, which is what, of course, is a good way to do it. Now, the use of this one is we can make this advanced liquid compressor. I think I've got enough, I think I've got everything in here as it happens, except for some compressed iron. Let's just get the compressed iron out of here.
there we go now it needs to be cooled so actually one thing that's not as obvious as you would expect is the ways to cool it what you can also do down here is to put down a block of compressed iron and then with a block of compressed iron you can also take some heat sinks and i've got the heat sink somewhere here let's look at the recipe for that one let's make another one of these i think we can make another one of those try again yes we can good get rid of these let's put those away i don't think anything goes in that one let's go and try this now so since this is better than coal and if this one is probably finished not quite finished off all the bits yet we'll take these other advanced pressure tubes but it's working fairly quickly so what we can now do is to remove one of these in fact well let's remove all three of them just removing the coal like that so now let's put onto this here the advanced liquid compressor now we've got to be careful with this it's going down in one direction let's put it on there like this oh yeah that does link in good so this needs fuel uh, and diesel or kerosene actually probably gasoline is good for this as well so let's have a look have we got a liquid hopper here if not i might have to Small fluid tank I don't think I can use. I think I have to have a liquid hopper on it. So this is the, and this will also produce high pressure. So we've got to be careful. So what we can do is then is to control this one. So let's just do that. Now the easy way to control this one is with those in the back here. I've got the bits. I hope I've got the bits. I haven't actually. I'll have to go and get the bits. I'll be back in a second. Right, it was this thing I couldn't find. I still I had to make a new one, I didn't know where it went to. So what we can do is we can put this down here. And beside that we can put a computer. So let's put the controller yes, the controller the controller one will do. I've got two, they're both controlled, just computers. So now we're going to just have a look at what we can actually do with this. So we'll go to Lua again. And then we can read from behind. So what we can do is we can redstone dot um, get analog input, and the, the side we're going to use is the back, like this, and it will then return a value for us, five. So that means we've got a value at the back here of five bar. So it says, in fact, it says it's emitting five, and the pressure is two point seven six bar. In fact, that's th therefore this is stopped because this needed three point five bar. The next thing we can do is we can read that and then we can we'll get rid of this here. We don't need any of this. And we can take this this going out of here like this and going into here. So we yeah, we need to use a resistor repeater to do that because we're one block away. <laughs> that's, doesn't, that's not right. <laughs> so we can then just join these two together like this. So now we can give it some fuel. We need to do that as well. So let's give it some fuel. Here I've got a liquid hopper. I'm going to put some li liquid into this hopper. I'm going to put some gasoline into it. Let's have a look what it says about it. the fuels problems. Here we go. Fuel. Available fuels. Okay. So LPG is the best, as you can see here. Gasoline comes here below it, and it's actually faster but it uses more per per unit yes so there you can see all of these different things here and uh, so LPG is by far the, uses the least but then again it's actually this is better thinking about it because you get three gasoline to two LPG so that's 4500 as opposed to 3600 would be what you're getting so that's pretty good so we'll go and get some gasoline Here's, we've actually got plenty of gasoline in here so what I'm going to do is just take, remove this tank like that and put 
this tank in, onto here. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe we just put it on the top. I think it might work from the side. Let's just try it from the side. Oh, yes, it filled it all up. As you can see. So let's go and right click this now. See, this is going down. And the whole tank's filled up. And this is has now getting gasoline into it. So it needs 1600. So what we'll do is we'll fill it all up. I could use some speed upgrades in here to make it go faster. Um, and it's actually on. So what we want to do is we want to have a redstone control on this as high. So it's finally finished up. So what we're going to do now is write a program. So we want this to work. We don't want things to blow up. So we need to stop this when it gets a redstone signal of, I, th I reckon, 9. So what we'll do is we'll just write a quick little, little program here. So let's go to Edit Startup. So what I've got here was a redstone signal at the back. So what we want to do now is we want to set a value. So let's have a look at the level. It's going to equal redstone dot get analog input back. Okay, so then we can say is if I've forgotten my syntax a little bit here. Well maybe I'll come if I get it wrong I'll come back and do it in a second. Let's put it in parentheses, I'm not sure what it is. If level is greater than nine so then we can set an output I think it's begin maybe it's um, it might be it's then actually then then we'll set the here and we'll set it at the front spell it right four just indent it a bit and then we'll say so if it isn't, then otherwise we'll say else, because otherwise it might not work. That didn't work. Let's just try and jump back here. That should be at the first line, and then we'll set the redstone signal set output. I can use set output as well, and then the output we could set is uh, front. And we'll set it to false. That will set uh, uh, an output of zero. So if then we'll just do end. That's what we need to do. So if this if let's see if this works. So it looks like it's working. So at the back here we have a resident signal of 7, so it's not high enough yet to trigger this off. So at the moment this should be off because I've set a redstone behaviour of high. In fact what I want is a redstone signal of low. So then it should start to build up again. Heat, no problems. And you can see it's working because it's smoking. Here we're getting a pressure now of set still on seven, and as soon as it goes up to four, it'll go to eight, and then when it reaches four and a half, it'll go to nine, and then it should emit a signal. And what I didn't explain about these, because I've forgotten about it, these need to be near the generator because as, as over pipe distances here, the pressure decreases. That's why one of these pipes blew up. So here we've got a nine. And it's not working. <laughs> okay, I have to stop it in that case. Let's just turn it off. Otherwise, it'll start to blow up. High signal. So it's not emitting a redstone signal. So why not? I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll print the level in here. Oh, because I haven't got it, does it once and it exits, doesn't it? So we <laughs> very smart. So I need to do a, a do loop in here. So if I do a do while 
true. Um, tell you what, a second. Just give me a second and just double check yes, the syntax wrong. It should be while true do, and then get rid of that. And then we come to the end. We need another end in here. I need to correct the indentation because I like it to be indented. So you can see the, the bits and pieces. But we'll do that afterwards. So we'll stop this now. Um, so control save it. Control exit. With an advanced computer, we could do this in one go. Would it probably be better? And we'll start up. Like that. So now the pressure must be below nine. It's not. Oh yes, probably nine is okay. Let's just edit this program again. Ah, too long without yielding. Uh, I probably should put a sleep in here in that case. So we get the level, and then we should set the level here, and maybe I just need to sleep one here. And then carry on. So let's say greater than or equal to 9 is what I would need to set into here. Of course, I could have moved with a mouse pointer on an advanced computer again. Uh, equals to, that's that one. Control, save it, control, exit, start up. Now you see it's got a high level here. And of course it has, because I've got to set this to high, so I want it low signal. So now it's not producing any power. It should be off until the power drops here to 8. So that it's emitting 9, and this will be using some power here. No, it hasn't. It's, it's, not, it's finished, so it's not going to be using any more pressure. So as soon as it needs pressure, we'll get this. Um, so if I connected one of these things into here, it would use pressure. And then it would turn itself back on again. Now, maybe we don't want to do that. So maybe we would have a different condition in here. Let's just control T on this one to break the program. Narrate, narrator, narrates chat, narrator, narrates system. And narrator, turn off the very irritating narrator. <laughs> so let's edit the startup again. So what you can do here is you can say, so if the level is now um, else if, in fact, For example, level is less than seven, then turn it off. So what this will do is it'll go on when the level becomes less than seven and off when it becomes greater than or equal to nine. So let's just save that. Huh. I must have made a mistake there. So else if I think is the right syntax. Maybe it's else if there's one word like this. Indeed it is. So now when that goes below seven, this will turn on again. So we're going to get a reasonable amount of pressure in here. But it will be maintained. So what we could do is if I right click this here, that would warm up the etching acid and I don't want to do that. We're finished with the etching acid anyway. We don't need that anymore because we can make the um, PCBs directly and faster. So what we can do here is we can put down a heat, heat sink back again like this so this will then cool off fairly quickly when we connect it up again now last time this pipe didn't connect in let's see if this actually now works because the pressure in here is 0.1 and the pressure is is nearly nine so no nearly five so right click this and it seems to be losing pressure Uh, 
all right i turned it around and now it works so as you can see it actually was connected to it but it didn't work so now this is nice and cold so this should now have gone off which it has done and you could see this is, should be heating up again as you can see it's smoking which means it's heating up so we can take another can of diesel and just fill this up properly now this small tank is empty because it only has old 32 and we can put this back in here again it'll start to fill up oh look so I'm going to do a little bit more fighting in a second there's a few phantoms around so that's it for this episode I hope you've enjoyed it next time we'll carry on again with pneumatic craft maybe we'll do some um, something else so until then I wish you all the best bye for now